This conference will now be recorded. Uh, good evening, everyone. It is now 7 p.m. and this is the March 25th, 2021 work session of the Allendale Mayor and Council. Welcome to everyone who's joining us via video and teleconference. We ask that you please mute your devices at, th at this time so as not to distract from the business of the meeting. There will be several opportunities for the public to be heard tonight and we will advise you at the appropriate times. Michelle, please read the Open Public Meeting Act announcement. Sure. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, the notice requirements have been satisfied. The meeting dates for the year confirmed at the annual meeting are posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building, published in the record within the first 10 days of the new year, and copies are sent to the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger. Notice of this meeting by the March 23, 2021 Sunshine Notice was sent to the record, the Ridgewood News, and Star Ledger and has been posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building and on the borough website. Great, thank you, Michelle. Please conduct the roll call. Councilwoman Holman? Here. Councilman O'Connell? Here. Councilman O'Toole? Absent. Councilman Sasso? Absent. Councilman Strouch? Where is everyone? See, I think they're on the other call already. Yeah, and is this a closed session? Because we have members of the public on this. I know, but we're going into closed session on the Zoom. So, oh, so we're just, I, okay. I, I can they're see on the that. Other one? I, I can was... see that is on Zoom. Yeah, is one on... more yay, so we have a, a quorum. So, it, it All is... right. so uh, Michelle, is there anyone here? To... Councilman Councilman Sasso? Yes. Okay, great. Councilman O'Toole? Yep. Councilman Strouch? And, and, and Councilman O'Connell? Yeah, he was here. He was here. Okay, so we have. And enough. Councilwoman Wilson? Oh, here. Here. Great, great, thank you. The Mayor Brunson? Here. Okay, so we are going into closed session at this time. So I would um, ask for a motion to approve resolution 21-105, which authorizes the governing body to enter into closed session under attorney client privileges, privilege negotiations exemptions to discuss updates on the water department matters. So I'd ask for a motion. So moved. Thank you, Liz. Second. 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 Thank you, Amy. Mm -hmm. Michelle, please conduct a roll call. Councilwoman Homan? Yes. 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 Councilman yes. O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch is absent. And Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Great. So the public portion of the work session will resume at 7.30 p.m. So those from the public, uh, joining right now via video and teleconferencing can either wait on go to meeting or log back in at 730. Um, okay, so we are now going to close session. What am I doing? So okay. everyone who's on should go to Zoom. Right, okay. everyone. Bye. Everyone. Okay. Uh, the time is now 7.30 and the work session has resumed. For everyone joining us via teleconference, uh, welcome back or to teleconfering. We'll continue the public portion of our agenda. I want the record to reflect that Councilman Strouch, um, although he didn't uh, participate in the roll call, he joined us somewhere around 7.05 or, or 7.10. So please let the record re reflect that. Um, we are now at the public comment portion of our meeting. This is the first of three opportunities tonight for the public to comment. Anyone from the public wishing to speak, please state your name and address for the record. You'll have five minutes to address the governing body. So um, I do not see or hear anyone from the public. So now we will move on to the administration part of our work session. We'll start with the agenda review. We have a full agenda tonight. There are two ordinances listed for second reading and public hearing. Uh, ordinance 21-02, uh, an ordinance to amend the salary ordinance for the Borough of Allendale for the years 2021, 22, 23, and 24 for members of the police department. 
as this ordinance states, it sets the salaries for the police department for the years 21 through 24 in accordance with our recently approved contract. The next uh, ordinance listed for second reading and public hearing is 21-03, uh, an ordinance of the Borough of Allendale County of Bergen, New Jersey, approving a financial agreement with THC Allendale Industrial Urban Renewal LLC. This ordinance uh, approves the warehouse financial agreement at 230 West Crescent and brings the borough one step closer to finalizing the sale of 220-230. Ray, is there anything that you'd like to add to that? No, that's a fair description, Mayor. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Um, there are three ordinances um, for introduction tonight as well. Uh, ordinance 2104 and Ordinance 2105. Um, those two ordinances, 2104 and 2105, set 2021 salary ranges for the UPSEU white collar unit and non-employee, non-union employees, respectfully. And uh, the third ordinance for introduction tonight is 21-06. Um, this ordinance establishes the eligibility requirements and promotional process of officers to the ranks of chief captain, lieutenant, and sergeant of the Allendale Police Department. Continuing with our agenda review, there are three resolu 13 resolutions listed on the consent agenda for approval. I want to go over them each uh, individually. 21-06, uh, Point Tax Collector and Tax Search Officer Colleen Ennis. Um, on March 31, our longtime tax collector, Harold Lawfield, will be retiring. So tonight, we'll be hiring Colleen Ennis. Uh, who has an excellent reputation as a tax collector in Waldwick uh, to serve. We welcome to, to Colleen. I have worked with her as an attorney. I've worked with her in Waldwick and she's been wonderful. And I'm sure she's going to be the same for us here in Allendale. Uh, Harold has been with the borough since 2009 and I believe has provided the borough and its taxpayers with outstanding service. Um, on behalf of the borough, I wish Harold a joyous retirement and all the best for the next days of his life. And Lissa, um, if you're on, would you, is there anything that, that you would like to speak or say at this time? Yeah, I, I would like to just say something. Um, uh, I know a lot of you may not have known Harold, but um, he was actually a legend in the tax and finance world. And um, we were lucky to have him. Um, it was a pleasure working with Harold for 12 years. Um, in that time, he'd been a constant source of knowledge for us. Uh, if we ever had any questions or concerns, we knew that Harold would um, have the answer. Uh, and he's been very helpful in training Gina. So she's, you know, gearing up and ready to go. Um, he will be sorely missed. Um, and if you're listening, Harold, uh, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts and uh, hope he doesn't change his phone number because I'm sure we're still going to be calling him. That's great, Lisa. Thank and you. And we are we're excited about Colleen coming on. I have worked with her before too, and uh we're I think we'll be set very well. Yeah, I think so as well. I'm looking forward to that and welcome to Colleen and thank you to Harold. Um the next three items uh on the agenda, uh 21107, 21108, and 21109, these three resolutions approve tax appeal settlements which the tax assessor, Angela Matisse, and our attorney, Joanne Ricciardi, have negotiated. And thanks to both of them for the work to bring these matters to a close. Uh, the next is 21-101 to authorize uh, development issuance and administration of a request for bids to sell Allendale, Allendale's water supply, treatment, storage, and distribution system. Um, and I know we had discussed that in closed session. Councilwoman Homan, would you like to speak to, to that? Yes, I would. Uh, okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a step just pursuing one of the options that we are looking at for the future of Allendale Water, and that was to, to possibly sell the system. And so this is the next step to actually put out the request for bid um, and see, you know, what the opportunities are for Allendale. Anybody from the public that is listening, I want to make sure that I'm clear. Again, there will be public meetings um, if we decide that any of the bids that are, um, you know, returned to us, if we decide that um, any of them are ones that we would 
feel we'd like to pursue. We will have public meetings about that particular bid and we would, any agreement around selling the system would be subject to a passing a referendum at the general election. So I think we should all feel good that we're going forward. I'm hopeful that tonight we will approve going forward to the RFP because it really is the right thing to explore as an option for the Allendale water system moving forward. And if anybody has questions, don't hesitate to email me or call me. Great, thank you very much. Thank you for that and for your presentation. 21-111, um, authorized 2021 park and ride permit fees. This resolution sets the commuter parking lot permit fees for the period of April 1st through August 31st. Uh, the next is 21-112, authorized 2020 budget transfers. This re resolution approves the transfer of funds between budget accounts. 21-113, approved 2021 police salaries. As discussed earlier tonight and at prior meetings, we are happy to have reached a new contract with the PBA, and this resolution memorializes the officer's salaries for 2021 in accordance with that new contract. The next one is 21-114, support sustainable Jersey grant application. Uh, we are proud to support the efforts of Councilman Strouch and newly reinstated and the newly reinstated green team members, including Councilman O'Connell, Mark Savastano, and Carlton Frost, to pursue environmental sustainability grants. Um, Councilman Strouch, I would uh, open it to you if you'd like to speak to that. Um, thank you, Mayor Bernstein. Um, and yes, um, the, uh, the green team is um, excited about working with our grant writer um, to apply for the Sustainable Jersey Grants. Um, one of the, the founding principles for the green team, as well as for the uh, Goose Patrol, is that we somehow improve the quality of life in Allendale without adding any financial burden or uh, additional burdens on the staff of the borough. Um, and um, these grants are great because they provide the money that we need to uh, help get the uh, green team up and running again. And um, Mark Savistano will probably during the public motion have a little bit to say as well about the green team. So uh, thank you again, Mayor Bernstein and the council. Great, Councilman Strouch, thank you, and thank you for all your work on that very important uh, team and group. 21-115, approved 2021 townwide garage sale for the Allendale Women's Club. We are happy to approve the Allendale Women's Club very popular townwide garage sale set for May 15th. 21-116, to waive the 2021 compost permit fee for the Allendale Garden Club. As we do every year, we're waiving the compost permit fee for the Allendale Garden Club, who very generously volunteer their time to keep Allendale's flowers and shrub beds looking beautiful. 21-117, uh, award the contract 2021 turf program, True Green Commercial. True Green has once again won this year's bid to provide turf maintenance on the lawn and fields, uh, lawn and field areas. Uh, thank you to Ron for putting this together. And, and, and Michelle. Well, neither. Well, I know someone did it. It didn't happen on its own. So, all right. Uh, thank, thank you, Michelle. Uh, Twenty-one one eighteen approved the March twenty fifth, twenty twenty one bill list. I reviewed it, Matt and Amy. I'm, I'm sure you did as well. Yep. Good. Thumbs up yep. from both of you. Thank you. Uh, so we will be approving the March twenty fifth, twenty twenty one bill list. And that is the end of our agenda review. We have time, we have ample time to get through our committee reports. So I'm gonna start as I always do with Councilman O'Connell. If you're prepared to give your report, now would be a great time. Um, he might be having some- Okay, difficulty. he might, so he'll, I will give him an opportunity to give his report when he can check in. So Councilman Sasso, um, are you, can you give your report now? I can, Mayor, thank you. Great, thank you so much. So the Land Use Committee has not met since our last meeting. However, our next meeting is scheduled for April the 14th, Wednesday at 8 a.m. There are gonna be two major topics um, on the agenda, and, you know, in addition to whatever else may have properly come before us. But we're gonna discuss 
tents, um, the tents and restaurants in Allendale. And of course, COVID-19 has forever transformed the way things look. And there was an article actually in the record, the newspaper today, that said exactly that. COVID-19 has forever transformed restaurants forever in eight ways. One of those eight ways was, according to them, we'll be dining in the streets. So at the beginning of COVID, the mayor and council very skillfully and quickly pivoted to help our, res our, our, our not, not only our residents, but our restaurants deal with the crisis while allowing all of us to go out and eat and socialize safely. So that meant tents, and that's great. So as the new normal, quote unquote, begins, we're gonna discuss in committee what tents will look like um, going forward in, in uh, context to our already existing outdoor dining ordinance and what, you know, what changes or, you know, uh, additions may have to be made to that. So is, this is very early. We're just gonna start discussing it and our borough attorney will be joining us at that meeting. And of course, it's safety first always when we discuss these things. And again, to put a little background behind it, the NRA, that's the National Restaurant Association, by the way, just in case there's any confusion, said up to 62% of restaurants have extended outdoor dining nationally since the pandemic began, began. And the Saddle River Inn, just to name one, said they've extended outdoor dining and they're not going back to the way it was before. Now, they're not in Allendale, of course, but that doesn't matter. Um, so that's the one item on the agenda. The other is that um, the state has recently enacted, uh, gonna, we've made, they've made weed legal in New Jersey, pot, cannabis, and that there's been recommendations that we should review, not only us, but every municipality, your existing ordinances. Now, a couple of years ago, Allendale enacted an ordinance that would restrict recreational marijuana in advance of this decision, all anywhere in the borough, and limit medical marijuana dispensaries to a zone up near Route 17 by Royal Line Road. So we're gonna have to now go back in the context of this new state law and our attorney and the chief of police and all of us will discuss what, if anything, has to be done to, uh, to our existing ordinance and what we have to do going forward to make sure that Allendale's character remains the same character it's always been and that we're in compliant with all laws. And that's all I have, thank you. Great, Councilman Sasso, thank you for that, um, for that report and for all your work. Uh, very much appreciated. Councilwoman Holman, would you like to give your your, your report? Mute, unmute. Sorry. Uh, yes, I would love to. So uh, we've had a lot of meetings. I, I couldn't even begin to to list them. I mean, from Zoom meetings this morning to this afternoon. I'm glad everybody got to meet. Uh, Ryan Skirbo just uh, a few minutes ago in our in our closed session as the um, other legal expert alongside of Ray Wiss for the uh, RFB that I have requested, as I said, the resolution tonight. So we've had a lot of meetings around the valuation of the system, the RFB itself, um, the RFP for the design and purpose permitting and bidding of the PFAS treatment facility. We, uh, myself and Ari and Mayor Bernstein and uh, Councilman Sasso, we also met on a shared services uh, discussion with uh, the borough of Ridgewood as well as Ridgewood Water, um, trying to explore that third option that we have out there. And I've been um, attending some programs and researching the impact of some of the new proposed guidelines. Just, you know, so no matter which way we go, we can feel that we are prepared with the best foot forward. Um, I do want to remind the public that the third virtual uh, public water meeting was held, I think it was March 3rd, um, and but that it is posted along with the first two meetings on the Allen Borough website under water. Um, so it's a tab under for water and then they're listed up at the top and thank you to John Gill for 
um, putting those into YouTube so that they can be viewed at any time. And I really encourage everybody to particularly watch the third one, but if they want information on water, they should go back through the first two. And then um, I also, just from a uh, operating standpoint, I, to the council, Ron, I know that you and Lane have been working on facilitating a number of repairs to the system. And I thank you in particular for all the work that you, you do and Lane does um, working with Suez, who has done a good job in keeping our system up and running effectively. So Ron, I don't know if there's something specific you feel like we should share. I mean, we've done a couple of repairs and authorized some other repairs, um, but we're in good standing right now, I believe. Yes, and tomorrow's the monthly meeting, which is the day-to-day -day operation meeting. Which yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I like it. Um, so thank you, Ron, and thank you to Lane. I, I really, you guys have been tremendous, and the whole water committee. Like, I know I do a lot of thanking, but it is a tremendous amount of time and people thinking and reviewing documents off, you know, offline. Um, so thanks. Great. Councilwoman Holman, thank you so much. Uh, Councilman O'Connell, um, are, are you prepared? Can you give your report now? Can you hear me now, Mayor? Uh, loud and clear. Thank you, Mayor. Then I am ready. Okay, great. It's all yours. Thank you. Uh, as far as OEM goes, we continue to report about uh, COVID. It looks like our numbers are flatlining, which means we're not having some big spikes in there. Still means you got to use precautions. And uh, the whole OEM team, I, I can't thank them enough. They continue to get up-to-date information out to as many people as they can. Um, the numbers uh, for Allendale calls into headquarters are 3,059. 911 calls were 360. Fire calls were 19. And EMS were 90. Uh, they had some training this week for a SWAT officer, SEAL team, uh, some active shooter, and some uh, rifle instructor school. Uh, also want to say that uh, Officer Acevedo will, is going to be trying to do the Junior Police Academy, and I believe there's going to be sign-ups starting uh, April 1st, so be on the lookout for that. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Great. Councilman O'Connell, thank you. Thank you for all that, for your report and all of your work. Uh, Amy, I, Councilman Wazinski, would you like to give your report now? Can't hear you, Amy. It, it, it shows green, but I just can't, I'm not, we're not hearing you. It doesn't show that you're muted, but you're not coming through. I'm guessing, Amy, it's those earpieces. So, Amy, I'm going to, whenever you keep trying to be heard, I'm going to keep going. But whenever you're ready, we'll come back to, to you, Amy. Okay. All right. So, oh, oh, you're on now. Thank you. Okay. Great, Amy. I, I think we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yep. All right. It okay, was my ear thing. They didn't convert back from the Zoom call to this call, but I was hearing everybody. Anyway. Okay, 220-230, as we all saw this evening, um, we have our second reading for the pilot, which is the uh, annual service charge for the back building, which is the warehouse. So this is a very important document for, for the borough, and I'd like just to thank all the lawyers and everybody who got this up and running and, um, and uh, worked out all the kinks that we were going through throughout all the months. Um, the back building, we're hoping this is one of the many documents that we're going to have and, and uh, brought in to close on the back building. Once we do close on the back building, that will be the warehouse will be bifurcated into four smaller warehouses and it will be it'll be rented out to uh, whoever I guess wants to rent it. But the whole idea was that it's not going to be a big manufacturing facility. It's going to be much smaller, somebody potentially who would be storing cars or things like that. So um, we are also uh, pretty much wrapped up with the remediation. We're going on two years with our remediation. So uh, this is a, a, a big deal for Allendale. There's just a little bit more work to be done next week. So we're hope to have that wrapped up and then we're gonna be moving forward. And this is something else that is um, required for the closing. Uh, today we had another meeting to go over all the various easements. Once we have everything in place for the county, um, we'll be in good shape to hopefully have 
the closing in about three or four weeks for the back building. And then after that, we're looking at like another month for the front building. And once the front building is closed and all the permits are secured, that's when the uh, building of the municipal building and all the residents will commence. So uh, spring is in the air. We've been getting all of our sports going. Our field requests are coming in. Um, we are planning on going forward with all of our sports. We are will we will be adhering to the CDC guidelines, of course. So everybody is is required to send in their CDC guidelines for their specific sport, and we will be running that by our OEM team. Crestwood Lake. Also, we plan on opening Crestwood Lake, similar to we did last year. Uh, hopefully with a little more tweaks as people start getting more vaccinated. So we have plenty of space. It was a success last year and we plan on opening it and having it ready for everybody to enjoy starting on Memorial Day. Um, our playground will be starting soon. It's It's been delivered and um, as soon as uh, the weather is getting better. So we're, we're hoping the demo is gonna start in the next upcoming weeks. We just actually got a, awarded another grant for the trails. The playground actually was a BC uh, Bergen County open space grant. And another grant that we just received was another Bergen County open space grant. And that is for some trails. There's a lot of trails in the woods behind all of our fields. And we're just looking to take some of the trees and clear them up a little bit better. So they're a little bit uh, easier to trespass with uh, for our residents. And our streetscape is still going. Our, our one phase is done, almost done. We still have um, a couple of things on the checklist to go over, but the trees will be going in next and then we will start another phase. Um, and I think that's it for me. Great, thank you very much. And thank you for all your hard work. Councilman O'Toole, would you yes, like sir. to give your report? Absolutely. So the Administration, Finance, and HR Committee has not had an official meeting since our last council meeting, but work obviously continues on the budget. We're preparing to present the current iteration of the budget to the Finance Advisory Committee. Uh, you'll recall this is, committee is a group comprised of residents who have finance and budgeting experience and knowledge who volunteer their time to look at the budget and offer their suggestions. We're going to be meeting with them next Wednesday evening. Uh, we're appointing a new tax collector this evening due to the retirement of Harold Lawfeld. Echoing Liz's sentiments earlier, we of course wish him well in retirement and thank him for his service to the borough. And other than that, we've taken care of a few personnel issues, some housekeeping items, budget transfers, contract finalization and such, uh, which appear on this evening's agenda. That's all I've got. Great, thank you very much for that and for thank all you. of your hard work. Councilman Strouch, would you like to give you a report now? <clears throat> yes, thank you, uh, Mayor Bernstein. Um, the, um, as Amy had mentioned, the uh, playground uh, demolition at Crestwood Lake is going to be starting tomorrow. So that's a, uh, a big deal for us at the DPW department. Um, <clears throat> the field bathrooms, the uh, plumbing has been hooked up and the facilities are being cleaned and made ready for use uh, this weekend, uh, or that's the plan, at least if we don't run into any problems. Um, <clears throat> you know, spring is definitely here. Uh, Danny Davis is doing a great job cleaning the streets with our new street sweeper, um, and he's getting more familiar with it um, uh, the more he uses it, and um, it's, it's uh, so far it's working out great. Um, Richie McDowell and uh, Rock Ray Frazier are both busy getting the lake ready. Um, and we're gonna be borrowing the county bulldozer, um, which we've done in previous years, um, to prepare the bottom of the lake. Um, and that's supposed to be delivered on Monday. And uh, Lane is gonna be um, operating that as he has in past years. So um, once that's done and the Crestwood Lake starts filling with water. Um, it's probably going to fill a lot of the uh, resident spirits as well. The uh, for me, the filling of Crestwood Lake is really the beginning of, uh, of of summer. So I'm looking forward to it very much. Um, we're going to be um, performing the Goose Patrol inspection uh, this year remotely for those uh, volunteers who um, are in good standing with Goose Patrol, which means they've had no complaints and continue to perform their um, Goose Patrol um, requirements in a responsible manner. Um, and we have five new dogs that are gonna be joining the patrol. Those will be uh, tested in a COVID compliant way with um, humans masked and everybody keeping uh, distant. They'll be done outside 
um, as I said, uh, um, in, in a COVID compliant way. Um, and um, all the uh, dogs and their handlers are looking forward to the new vests, uh, which this year will be orange. Um, so I'm gonna end my report there, Mayor Bernstein, and uh, thank you. Great, hey, Councilman Strouch, thank you. Thank you for your report and for all your work. I think I have enough time. I'm gonna try to give my report. Um, spring is finally here, as uh, some of you have commented with mild weather we've been having, it's nice to see the residents taking advantage and enjoying outdoor activities. I caution you though, COVID-19 is still very much here in Allendale. Um, so please remember to continue wearing your masks, practice social distancing and washing your hands. Every week OEM uh, meets, the numbers in Bergen County are not good. I don't wanna be a, a, a damper or a downer, but uh, they're seeing the variant, the B117, I think from the UK. So you still have to be safe. So enjoy the weather, but, um, but do the right thing. Easter egg hunt, this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon near the Red Barn at Crestwood, the holiday observers will be having their annual egg hunt as a drive-through event. It promises to be exciting and a fun time as the Easter Bunny will be joining them to oversee the distribution of treat bags for children. As always, thank you to the holiday observers for helping to make this holiday special for our, for, for our community. And the holiday observers, they always do the right thing. They always wanna do it. They've been here forever. They are a foundational part of our town. And once again, they're doing the right thing. Compost permits, compost permits are on sale now. Um, uh, applications can be filled out online on the borough's website at allendalenj.gov. The price remains the same as it was last year, $30. The facility will open beginning on Saturday, April 10th, uh, on Saturdays from nine to three, and on Sundays from nine to one. So the same hours. Federal stimulus program. I think Matt may have mentioned this two weeks ago or at the last um, meeting. The Borough of Allendale has received some good news or, uh, in the last two weeks. Uh, under the recently passed federal stimulus program. We are eligible to receive approximately $661,496 in federal assistance. Uh, though we are awaiting more information on this, we are encouraged to welcome this funding for the benefit of our taxpayers. And I know uh, Councilman O'Toole and Lissa will report be reporting on this as we go forward. And to all of our residents who will be uh, celebrating um, Easter, or Passover, we wish you and your families a happy Easter and a happy Passover. And so there's one minute left. So Mayor, I only need a minute if you want to, because uh, my items have been mostly referred to by the uh, reports of uh, Councilwoman Wilsinski and Homan, as Great. well as the, uh, the agenda. I think that pretty well sums up what we've been involved in since our last meeting. Great, so thank you very much. So we will save um, the remaining reports of Michelle, Lissa, and Ron till um i have no report so. oh M michelle okay so she has no report ron my report same as michelle same as yeah and i know you guys have, have um you've been perhaps too busy to give your reports you guys have been doing a fantastic job uh lissa is lissa on there and uh, would you like to give yeah. a report um in, all of the uh, items for me have pretty much been covered as well thank Wonderful. you and uh, to to all four of you um, who don't deserve, who don't get enough thanks and praise. Uh, you, you and everyone that works with you has been phenomenal. We have a great, great team um, and thank you to all of you. So we are now at 7.59 with 55 seconds. I would request a motion to adjourn the work session. So moved. That's great, second. Second, Strouch. Thank you, Jim. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you very much. So right on the dot at eight o'clock. Time is now 8 p.m. Uh, and this is the March 25th, 2021 regular session of the Allendale Mayor and Council. Welcome to everyone who is joining us via video and teleconference. At this time, I ask the public to please mute their devices so as not to distract from the business of the meeting. There will be two opportunities during this meeting for the public to speak. We will advise you at the appropriate times. Uh, Michelle, please read the Open Public Meetings Act announcement. Sure. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, the notice requirements have been satisfied. The meeting dates for the year are confirmed at the annual meeting are posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building, published in the record within the first 10 days of the new year, and copies are sent to the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger. 
Great, thank you very much. Now, if you would all please rise and join me to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Michelle, can you please conduct the roll call? Sure. Councilwoman Homan? Here. Councilman O'Connell? Here. Councilman O'Toole? Here. Councilman Sasso? Here. Councilman Strouch? Here. Councilwoman Wilsinski? She's Amy? on, she's just yep. having a Okay, good, we got you. And Mayor Berinsky. I'm here, thank you. Uh, public comment on agenda items only. So I will open the floor to the public on agenda items only. Um, if anyone wishes to be heard, state your name and address for the record. So is there anyone who wishes to be heard on agenda items only? Uh, Mayor Mark Savastano, 22 Vreeland Place. A, a pleasure to see you tonight um, and the floor is yours. Thank you, sir. Um, I, I wanted to comment on the resolution 21-110. Um, I, I want to continue to express my concern regarding the sale of the water supply. I understand uh, what has been presented by Liz is a request for proposal or a request for bid, excuse me, and um, that many other may come forward, but I remain concerned at the very prospect of selling our water supply. Um, I do understand uh, perhaps the desire or need to sell the infrastructure, but I, I will continue to speak out against the idea of selling the water itself. I think that's a mistake. Um, in the same way, although much worse than the idea of selling the turnpike back uh, probably in the 70s, I believe that was. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. And uh, I will con continue to do research and continue to speak out about it and uh, listen to whatever is presented. But Mark, uh, if I may, can I? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I, I, I truly, I appreciate your interest. And I think that that is what's important is I do think that researching and understanding and talking about what it means to continue to own our own infrastructure which includes the wells from the ground because not having you know what i mean there's if we so i i and i would definitely ask you to send me specific questions and i apologize to the public that i haven't had a chance to put together all of the q and a that people had sent from the last meeting. There's just been so, you know, a limited amount of time, but I do, you know, I, I appreciate your kind of emotional hold to the water rights. Um, and, and so that's just, it's an option that I feel that it is a good decision to pursue, you know, at the end of the day, if we get bids that we feel are appropriate to bring, bring to the public, it will be, it will not be the mayor and council that decides what to do. It will ultimately be the residents of Allendale. So I can assure you that. And definitely we wanna make sure that we share every piece of information that we can in an honest and transparent way. And, so and, 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 I, and Councilwoman Holman, thank you for responding. And Mark, I, I thank you for raising the, the issue and your comments are duly noted. Um, we are fortunate Councilwoman Holman has been um, as transparent as possible in the process. She's held three um, town hall meetings. She's approached this as we all have with all appropriate caution and due diligence. And uh, Mark, your, your, your caution and your concerns are duly noted. And, and that's one of the reasons why we opened the meeting to the public. And as Councilwoman Holman was discussing what the process is. So thank you. That understood. Um, I don't want it to be uh, portrayed as being strictly emotional. Um, I don't see how it could be a good idea. I'm open to listening uh, as to why uh, 
the uh, borough believes it's a good idea or the water? Uh, uh, we don't know what we don't. Uh, we believe it's a good idea at this point to find out what the system could be worth. We don't believe it's a good idea to do anything other than identify what the options are. Right. And so at this point, so and I don't want to cut anyone off, but I think we, we've had, um, Mr. Savastano has made, has spoken very eloquently so. Councilwoman Holman, you too have addressed it. So I'm, um, I don't want to cut anyone off, but I'm prepared to, to, to move on. Okay, so um, good. So is there anyone else from the public who wishes to be heard on agenda items? No, okay. Um, so now ordinance for second reading and public hearing. Um, we have two ordinances, as I discussed in the work session, we have two ordinances for second reading and public hearing tonight. We'll start with ordinance 21-02. Michelle, please read the title of 21-02. Sure, the following ordinance published herewith was first read by title only on March 3rd, 2021 and posted on the, pub, on the bulletin board of the lobby of the municipal building and borough website. This is ordinance 21-01, an ordinance to amend the salary ordinance of the borough of Allendale for the years 2021, 22, 23, and 24 for members of the police department. Hey, Michelle, is it 2102? Yeah, at one point you said 2101. But oh, I'm sorry, 2102. 2102, okay, just wanna make sure. Um, for the years 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024. Good, okay. So I'm going to open the floor, open the floor for public comments on ordinance 21-02. Not seeing anyone for the public, I will request the council I will request the council member to make a motion to move to pass and adopt on second and final reading ordinance 21-02. Notice of same shall be published according to law. So moved, O'Connell. Thank you, Councilman O'Connell. Second. Second, O'Toole. Thank you, Mr. O'Toole. Um, Michelle, please conduct a roll call. Councilwoman Homan? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch? Yes. And Councilwoman Wilsinski? Amy? Okay, it, 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 we heard you mute, it's your volume is low. Maybe that's a, maybe just turn Thumbs the volume up. up. Yeah, but it, it, she absolutely said yes. Yeah. So 2103, uh, Michelle, please read the title of ordinance 2103. The following ordinance published herewith was first read by title only on March 3rd, 2021 and posted on the bulletin board of the lobby of the municipal building and borough website. This is ordinance 21-03, an ordinance of the borough of Allendale County of Bergen, New Jersey, approving a financial agreement with THC Allendale Industrial Urban Renewal, LLC. Great, thank you. I now open the floor for public comments on ordinance 21-03. Not seeing anyone. Um, I would request a council member to make a motion to move to pass and adopt on second and final reading ordinance 21-03. Notice of same shall be published according to law. So move, Strouch. Thank you, Councilman Strouch. Second. second. Thank you, Councilman. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, Councilman Wojcicki. Um, once, uh, Michelle, please conduct a roll call. Councilwoman Homan? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch? Yes. And Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Great, thank you everyone. Um, introduction of ordinances. We have three ordinances, 21-04, 05, and 06 being introduced tonight. We're gonna start with the introduction of ordinance 21-04, which, which we reviewed during the work session. I would request a council member to make a motion to introduce and pass on first reading ordinance 21-04 and set the hearing for April 15th at 8 p.m. or soon thereafter in the council chambers of the Allendale Municipal Building. So moved, Strouch. Thank you, Jim. Second? 
O'Toole. Thank you, Matt. Michelle, please read the title of the ordinance and conduct a roll call. Sure, this is ordinance 21-04, an ordinance to amend chapter 53 of the code of the borough of Allendale officers and employees to fix the salaries, wages and compensation of the officers and employees of the borough of Allendale for the year 2021 UPSU white collar unit. Councilwoman Holman? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch? Yes. And Councilwoman Wilson? Yes. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, that was 2104? Yes. yes. Okay, so this one is 21-05. Um, I would request the council member to make a motion to introduce and pass on first reading ordinance 21-05 and set the hearing for April 15th at 8 p.m. or soon thereafter in the council chambers of the Allendale Municipal Building. So moved. Thank you, Matt. Second? Second. Thank you, Amy. Michelle, please read the title of the ordinance and conduct a roll call. Sure, this is ordinance 21-05, an ordinance to amend chapter 53 of the code of the borough of Allendale officers and employees to fix the salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers and employees of the borough of Allendale for the year 2021 non-union. Councilman, Ho uh, Councilwoman Homan? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch? Yes. And Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Great, thank you. And now we're up to Ordinance 21-06. I would request a council member to make a motion to introduce and pass on first reading Ordinance 21-06 and set the hearing for April 15th, 2021 at 8 p.m. or soon thereafter in the council chambers of the Allendale Municipal Building. So moved, O'Connell. Thank you, Councilman O'Connell. Second? Second, Strouch. Strouch. Thank you. Um, Strouch. Mm -hmm. Councilman Strouch, thank you. Um, uh, Michelle, please read the title of the ordinance and conduct a roll call. This is Ordinance 21-06, an ordinance amending and supplementing Article 2, Chapter 26-25 of the Code of the Borough of Allendale. Councilwoman Homan? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch? Yes. And Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Great. Thank you, everyone. Consent agenda, which we reviewed in the work session. Um, so I would request a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. moved. So moved. Okay. So moved. So moved. <laughs> a second? Second. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jim uh, Strouch second, Strouch first, Holman second. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, Michelle, please conduct a roll call. Councilwoman Holman? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch? Yes. And Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. All right, thank you. It was like Jeopardy, they're all, they're all the <laughs> yeah. trying to, to click in. Um, okay, any unfinished business? Nothing, any new business? Uh, everyone gave their committee reports, that was great. Thank you, the staff reports, we've done all that. So public comment, uh, open the floor to the public on any matter. Hi, Mayor, it's Mark Savastano again. Mr. Savastano, great to see you again. The floor is yours. I'm back. Um, just to update the council, and yourself on the efforts of our new green team. Um, I will be hosting a, uh, a meeting with the Bergen County Hub uh, on behalf of our green team on the 30th uh, of March. Uh, and I intend to speak about how uh, recycling and banning can work together to put some pressure on industry to, to be more responsible for the products they produce. Um, I'm very glad to hear that uh, we'll be getting our, our grants written by somebody who is professional in that matter. Thank you, Jim, for informing me about that. And uh, we continue our work 
uh, specifically about styrofoam. And uh, we are sending out a letter to all the recycling coordinators in the county, uh, probably by the uh, beginning of next week. Uh, and that leads me to uh, ask, who is our recycling coordinator? It's, uh, Julie. Tatiana. No, Julie. Julie. Julia. Julia Burge, she's out on disability. Right, Julia Burge, and, and she's out on, on disability, but she is our recycling co coordinator. But it, it, if you want to either address uh, Ron Kistner um, in Julia's absence, uh, you can send it to, to Mr. Kistner. Okay, uh, well, that's important because uh, we received a list of all of the recycling coordinators in the county from the Bergen County Utilities Authority. Um, and I do want to make sure that it's received by the proper people and they're able to respond to the survey that we're sending out. Certainly, um, good. So so, so um, send it to, to Ron Kistner. I'll send it to Ron and say okay. Great. All right, so thank you for uh, hearing that out and um, look forward to giving you more uh, productive information on our efforts. Great, and Mark, and thank you for, for all of your hard work. Very important and um, you guys are doing a great job. I, we look forward to hearing your reports. Pleasure. Anyone else? Anyone else from the public wish to be heard on any item? I am not seeing anyone, so I would request a motion to adjourn the regular session. So moved. Thank you, Steve. Second. Second. Amy, thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Everyone, thank you very, very much. Everyone, have a great night and a good weekend, and uh, happy holidays if you're celebrating. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.